Hi guys. Hey everyone. Welcome to Make Two and a Sims free play video explaining the new pregnancy feature which is being added to the game in a new update coming soon. Thanks so much to EA and Firemonkeys for early access so we can share what to expect with you all. We have separate videos walking through the pregnancy tasks and actions in more detail and also showing everything you can buy at the maternity store, so check the video description below for links to those. And also, The Sims Freeplay team is doing a live stream which you can watch on their Facebook page and also possibly on the Fire Monkeys YouTube channel. Now just a note, in this video we're showing a temporary version of the game with currency and maternity store tokens added by the game developers. This is not our game, and we will not be keeping this game for ourselves, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. In order to unlock pregnancy, you first need to complete the two and a half Sims quest and the bumpy ride quest. The two and a half Sims quest is a required quest which will start automatically in your game once you hit level 8 and also complete all the quests in the queue ahead of it. The bumpy ride quest is a brand new discovery quest which you can start whenever you want by building the maternity store in town. The bumpy ride quest will require you to complete a 9 day pregnancy event which is one of the two new ways that pregnancy will work in the game. That's three trimesters with three days for each trimester. We've walked through an example 9 day pregnancy event in another video which we've linked to in the video description below, but in this video we wanted to just give a quick summary of how it all works in general and also give some tips and tricks. The second new way that pregnancy can work after you've completed the bumpy ride quest is to choose a 6 day option. This will skip your pregnancy sim directly to the second trimester and all you need to do is wait 6 days for the baby. Or you could skip the 6 days with a lot of LPs. However, with this kind of pregnancy, you won't be able to earn some of the special prizes and bonuses that come with doing the 9-day event. If you don't want to do pregnancy, you can still have babies the old way by adding a crib to a house, paying simoleons or LPs, and waiting 24 hours. So, first of all, who can get pregnant? Right now, only adult female sims. The good news is, they can be single female sims, so you don't need a married couple like you do with the old way of having a baby. And by the way, if you still want to do it that old way, with just adding a crib and waiting 24 hours, you no longer need a married couple for that either. You just need an adult sim, and they can be single, and they can be male or female. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, second. How many sims can be pregnant at one time? Right now, only one sim at a time can do the 9-day pregnancy event. But if you're just doing the 6-day version, you can have multiple pregnant sims doing that. And these can happen at the same time as another sim doing the 9-day pregnancy event. Pregnancy party! <laughs> <laughs> what about the sim limit? Right now, there is a limit on the total amount of sims you can have in your town and also per household. The town limit gets higher depending on your level, up to 34 sims once you hit the highest levels. In order to add a sim, and that includes a baby sim, your town needs to have at least one fewer sims than the town limit for your level, and the household needs to have one fewer than the household limit. So yes, you may have to lose a sim from your town, and maybe even from your household, if you want a sim to be pregnant. This is how the game works right now. We can't say whether those sim limits will change in the future, but we hope so. Okay, how much does pregnancy cost? Key question. Each new pregnancy will cost 2 LPs for the 9 day event and 5 LPs for the 6 day event. Just a note that these numbers might change in the final version of the update or they could change in the future depending on what the game developers decide. The 9 day version will also require your pregnant sim to have at least one appointment each day which costs either simoleons or LPs in addition to several other tasks which we'll explain later. This appointment is with a sim who comes to your house for your sim's health benefits and the game will randomly make it a doctor or a nurse or a yoga instructor. Our special preview version also had an aerobics instructor and an ultrasound technician, but from what we understand these might show up in the game in a later update. Typically, these appointments cost between 70,000 simoleons to over 100,000 simoleons. You can also purchase a version of these appointments with LPs in order to receive a bonus in maternity store tokens, which is a type of currency you need to buy clothing and house stuff at the maternity store. So, just like in real life, pregnancy is expensive. At least half a million simoleons and some LPs. You'll definitely want to save those up, and we've got several videos with our recommended ways for earning simoleons and LPs on our channel, so feel free to check those out. What happens in the 9-day pregnancy event? 
Each day, your pregnant sim will have 24 hours to complete a random list of daily goals. These goals are all pregnancy themed, and all of the green action bars to achieve these goals will have a special picture of a pregnant sim. By completing these daily goals, your pregnant sim will earn tokens for the maternity store. Your sim can earn between 700 to maybe 2200 tokens per day, usually increasing with each day, depending on how long all of the goals take in total. We think it depends on that, but we're not quite sure. Yeah. You can complete the daily goals in any order you want. From our calculations, on average, doing all the goals in a day can take between 16 and 19 hours per day. So it's difficult, but it's not impossible to keep up. The task times can also be shorter if you use items with two or three stars in the home store. You could save half hour or an hour even on a task if you use a higher starred item, but of course, these are more expensive to buy. Again, we want to be clear that all of these calculations are based on our special preview version, and the numbers might be different in the final version, plus the game developers can change the game whenever they want to. Once your pregnant sim finishes her daily goals, you can either wait for the next 24 hour cycle to start, or skip ahead with LPs. Whichever way you go to get to the next day, once it starts, you'll be able to start working on that day's new list of goals. During the 9-day pregnancy event, other sims in your town can earn even more maternity store tokens by doing random support tasks. Usually, you'll get one support task which needs to be done a certain number of times, and when those are all done, you'll get a new random support task. Any teen, adult, or senior sim in your town can do these support tasks, and your pregnant sim can do them also if they're not busy. The important part is, they can all do them at the same time. So for example, if you've got a support task which says it needs to be done 13 times, you can put 13 sims on that task so they all complete it together at the same time. It's a really good idea to use this strategy because most of these support tasks take several hours, and at least one that I caught will take 15 hours. If you want to get all the support tasks done within the 9 days, you definitely need to have as many sims as possible working on them at the same time. We tried to calculate the total amount of time it would take to complete all the support tasks using the strategy of having all the required sims doing the task at the same time, and everything added up to around 6 days total. So it's definitely possible to get them all done in 9 days if you have enough sims. The most number of sims we needed at a time was 13 for some tasks, but for some other tasks it was as little as 5 sims. If you complete all the support tasks, you can earn an additional 28,000 maternity store tokens. This means that added together with the tokens earned by your pregnant sim for completing their daily goals, you could potentially earn around 37,000 maternity store tokens per pregnancy. Remember, these numbers are from our special preview version, so they could be changed in the future, and also they're numbers that I counted and added up, so they <laughs> could very well be really wrong, because I'm terrible at math. Okay, by the way, all of the pregnancy tasks for the pregnant sim and also the supporting sims can be sped up, but in our preview version it cost precious social points. This is pretty expensive in our opinion, so we hope one day this will change to LPs instead. At the end of the first three days, you'll hit the second trimester and see a small baby bump. It's super cute. At the end of the sixth day, you'll hit the third trimester and see a bigger baby bump. It's even more cute! If you complete all the daily goals and also all of the support tasks within the 9 days, the baby will be born with special bonuses. These include bonus XP per action, doing actions faster, and they won't be affected as badly when their needs are low. These bonuses will last for that sim's entire life, which basically makes them a super sim. The problem is, if you miss achieving all the daily goals for even one of the 9 days, you can't make them up on the other days. So if you miss out on one day, you won't get the big prize at the end. However, you can still earn maternity store tokens, so it's still worth doing as much as you can for the rest of the days. And the baby will still be born fine, <laughs> it just won't have those special bonuses. So that's pregnancy in The Sims Freeplay. You get to give your Sims super cute baby bumps, watch them waddle around, have them do a whole bunch of cute baby related activities, everything from pregnant yoga to throwing a baby shower to puking in the toilet. Yep, that's definitely cute. You have a maternity store where you can buy a ton of cute maternity clothes and nursery furniture. And if your sim works really hard under your guidance, they can make a super sim. Of course, you don't have to get anyone pregnant, it's just a cool extra part of the game now. But we know tons of players have been asking for pregnancy probably since the beginning of the game, and finally we've got it. The system works! Hooray! 
We hope you found this video helpful. If you have, feel free to give it a like. If you have any questions about the pregnancy event, let us know in the comments and also share your tips. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play on the way. Thanks for watching. At the end of the sixth day, you'll hit the third trimester and see a bigger baby bump. See a bigger baby bump. What? <laughs> That's cute. Bigger baby bump. <laughs> <laughs> bigger baby bump. Okay, say bigger baby bump five times fast. Bigger baby bump, bigger baby bump. <laughs> <laughs> bigger baby bump, bigger baby bump, bigger baby bump, bigger baby bump, bigger baby bump. Now say maternity store five it, times fast. But it sounds like you're saying bigger baby bump. <laughs> Go maternity store, maternity store. I can't say maternity store. Maternity store, maternity store, maternity store, maternity store, maternity store. <laughs> <laughs> the more I say it, the less it sounds like the words maternity store. All right, we're done. <laughs>